In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to payroll. First question, the classification of workers as either exempt and non-exempt relates to A, FICA, F-I-C-A, B, Social Security, C, Medicare, D, Fair Labor Standards Act. So we'll go through this again and see if we can go through the process of elimination. The classification of workers as exempt and non-exempt relates to A, FICA. So we could think FICA is a major type of legislation related to payroll, so that we'll leave that for now. B says Social Security and C says Medicare. Now, the thing about those three is they're all related. FICA uh, covers Social Security and Medicare are part of FICA. So we may start to think, well, hmm, maybe, maybe these kind of cancel each other out. We can't really have, uh, it would either be if FICA or if Social Security or Medicare were one of them, then FICA too would be correct. Now, one of these two might be more correct, might be more specific as a specific component. But uh, on the other hand, it might be, it might be canceling each other out. Maybe, uh, maybe these three basically cancel each other out because they can't both be FICA and Social Security or Medicare. Um, and then D says the Fair Labor Standards Act. So for that, if we didn't have any idea, uh, we might go for D just based on that, based on that assumption. We might say, hmm, well, it can't be Social Security and Medicare because they're also part of FICA and therefore uh, maybe they would cross these three out as not being viable. Um, again, that's not for sure in all multiple choice questions because there might there could be an argument that it's more specific. But in this case, D is the correct answer, Fair uh, Labor Standards Act. So once again, the classification of workers as exempt and non-exempt relates to D, Fair Labor Standards Act. Next question. Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967 prevented mandatory retirement for workers over A, 70, B, 60, C, 55, D, 40. So once again, we'll go through this. Age Discrimination Employment Act of 1967 prevented mandatory retirement for workers over either A, 70, B60, C55, or D40. Now this is one of those we kind of just got to know this one because we could try to make some guesses as what you know what would be reasonable as a process of elimination. And and 70 seems you know like a high <laughs> a high threshold because you know you would think that if 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 a company was was firing someone for um, age discrimination, then uh, it may take place before 70. And we also have to recognize too that uh, people tend to live longer and possibly be more healthy in later years. So we, we might be looking for, given 1967, you know, what's the average life expectancy then compared to now that it's it, uh, in our working years then compared to now uh, might be lower. So uh, 60 possibly because that's get, that gets closer to a retirement age uh, 55, uh, again, that's that would be a pretty good guess, I would think. And it's actually 40, however. So uh, over 40 is the correct answer. So Age Discrimination in Employment Act of 1967 prevented mandatory retirement for workers over the age of D, 40. Next question. Which will be included in the employee's payroll file? A, identification number of spouse. B. Prior employer. C. Dog's name. D. Occupation. So we'll go through this again and see if we can go through the process of elimination. Which will be included in the employee's payroll file? A. Identification number of spouse. Uh, so that probably doesn't, we, we want the identification number of the employee. Uh, we don't really need anything from the spouse, although. Uh, we will need to know if they're married or not, which you might think, why would we need to know that in order for to employ someone? We don't really need to know if they're married or not, but that's going to have to do with our marital status for our withholdings. So that will be included in the payroll file, but we don't really need any identification number of the spouse. That's more personal information than uh, we will be having necessary or want to have within our payroll file typically. And then B says uh, prior employer. It, you know, it might, maybe, you know, we'll keep that there for now. Uh, C says the dog's name. 
which is probably not in most payroll files, although it could be interesting to note if we wanted to call up the employee. It's always nice to have some notes about their about them so we can have something to talk about, but not necessary for sure. And then D says the occupation. And that typically is going to be, you know, something that will happen in the payroll file. We're going to say, you know, what's, what, is, what are they doing for us? What's their occupation? And, um, and then have all of their other type of payroll information, name, social security number, address. So of the two, B and D that we have left, we'll read through one more time, which will include, which will be included in employee's payroll file. Either B or D, prior employer or D occupation. Of the two, I would believe that D would be the one, the most correct answer. So, final answer. Which will be included in the employee's payroll file? D, occupation. Off the payroll.